Listen, I, good morning. I just want to talk about six driving forces of infiltration and kind of give you what we're going to talk about, the effects of where leaks happen into a building and what causes these kind of things. All right, so we got six driving forces. One of the things that's uh, just this natural is wind. We have wind that poses a, a positive and negative pressure on the building. We got wind from one side that creates a positive and as it whips around and goes the other side, it creates a negative. So what we have on the structure is a push-pull. So based on how we got the positive and negative pressure, uh, that's what creates the air to either come in or leave the building. So wind will create infiltration by itself. The other thing is we have what we call stack effect. Stack effect is what does warm air do? Warm air rises, okay? So warm air rises and creates a positive pressure at the top part of the ceiling. Well, if there's any leaks, wherever there's leaks and it leaks out there, remember air is just a natural thing. For it to leak out, it's gonna be making up air from somewhere else. So wherever that air is leaking out, that's where it's coming in from some another place. That's what we call stack effect. Same way with the wind, creates a positive and negative wherever there's a hole, Wherever the air, if it's leaking out, then it's, the only way that air can leak out, it's making up air from somewhere. Natural fun. If we did it, if it was all tight, nothing would be coming in and out. So those are two naturals right there. Third thing is <clears throat> duct. Duct leakage that creates infiltration. So if we have duct that's up here on the top, we're supposed to be putting in the same amount of air what we're sucking out, going through our air conditioning system. And give you an example, if our supplier leaks, let's just use a thousand CFM, thousand CFM of airflow, and we're only putting in 900 in the house, but we're still sucking out a thousand. Uh, that means the house is going then at that point in time into a negative. We create an activity, guess what happened? Wherever there's a hole in the house, windows, doors, whatever, boom. It sucks in the unwanted air of infiltration. So everything is based on air movement and pressure. It doesn't take much. These are the things that we're going to talk about. But I just want to talk about those main three at this point in time. So I can now take you over here and show you in the building, uh, create some of this negative and positive pressure and where this infiltration comes in, even in this room as it sits. And then we'll come back. I'll give you demonstrations. And then we'll come back and talk about the other three. And that's it for this moment.